Why Chinese sounds so awful? Have you ever wondered why Chinese sounds so awful to the ears of many English speakers? Despite being one of the most spoken languages in the world, Chinese can often come across as harsh, guttural, and even unpleasant to those unfamiliar with it. In this video, we will delve into the reasons why Chinese may sound this way and explore the linguistic, cultural, and historical factors that contribute to this perception. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for future interesting videos. The Role of Tones in Chinese Pronunciation The tonal nature of Chinese is a central aspect that contributes to its unique auditory profile. Unlike English and other non-tonal languages, Chinese relies heavily on pitch variation to distinguish meaning among words. This reliance on tones can indeed make the language sound unusual and even jarring to those unfamiliar with tonal systems. The intricacies of Chinese pronunciation require speakers to modulate their voice in specific ways to accurately convey different tones, rising, falling, high, low, and combinations thereof. Moreover, the tonal aspect of Chinese isn't just about pitch, but also involves rhythm and cadence, further setting it apart from the more familiar sound patterns of non-tonal languages. This can result in a perception of dissonance when listeners encounter the rapid shifts in pitch and tone integral to fluent Chinese speech. It's this significant departure from the non-tonal linguistic framework that can make the sounds of Chinese seem so alien and, to some, unpleasant. However, it's essential to recognize that this reaction is more about unfamiliarity and the challenges of linguistic diversity than an inherent quality of the Chinese language. The tonal system enriches the language, allowing for expressive nuances and meaning that would be unachievable in a non-tonal context. Phonetic Differences Between Chinese and English The phonetic landscape of Chinese is markedly distinct from that of English, presenting a vast array of sounds and phonemes that do not exist in the latter. This fundamental divergence in phonology can pose a significant challenge for English speakers attempting to learn Chinese. The array of consonants and vowels used in Chinese, coupled with the language's reliance on tonality, means that even seemingly similar words can have vastly different meanings based on slight variations in pronunciation. This not only complicates the learning process, but can also contribute to the perception of Chinese as a harsh and discordant language to those unaccustomed to such phonetic diversity. In English, variations in pitch often serve to express emotional nuance or emphasis rather than lexical or grammatical differences. In contrast, the tonal nature of Chinese assigns a direct semantic value to pitch variations, making the mastery of these sounds crucial for effective communication. Moreover, the presence of sounds in Chinese that do not have direct equivalents in English further exacerbates these phonetic differences. The aspirated and unaspirated stops retroflex consonants, and the presence of the U vowel sound, among others, require English speakers to adapt to entirely new ways of articulating words. These novel articulatory patterns can initially seem foreign and awkward, reinforcing the perception of Chinese as a linguistically challenging and acoustically harsh language. The influence of rapid speech patterns. One of the defining features of Chinese speech is its perceived speed which often contributes to the overwhelming experience for those not familiar with the language. The brisk pace at which Chinese speakers communicate can amplify the challenges of distinguishing between the intricate tones and phonetic nuances of the language. This rapid-fire delivery can be particularly disorienting for listeners who are used to the more measured pace of English speech, where pauses and intonations serve different functions and do not usually alter the meaning of words to the extent they do in tonal languages. This phenomenon is not merely a matter of linguistic difference, but also a reflection of cultural communication styles. In Chinese, the flow of conversation and the efficiency of speech are highly valued, leading to a faster tempo of spoken language. For learners or casual listeners, this can result in difficulty in parsing individual words and tones, making the language seem more inaccessible. The lack of familiarity with the language one of the primary reasons English speakers might find the sounds of Chinese off-putting stems from a simple lack of exposure to the language. When we encounter something unfamiliar, it's natural for our initial reaction to be one of discomfort or even aversion. Chinese, with its unique tonal system and phonetic elements that differ significantly from English, represents a considerable deviation from the linguistic experiences most English speakers are accustomed to. 
This unfamiliarity breeds a sense of alienation from the language, making its sounds seem more abrasive or unpleasant than they might otherwise be. Engagement with the language transforms the unfamiliar into the familiar, revealing the richness and depth of Chinese that lies beyond the surface-level reaction to its sounds. This process of acclimatization can significantly alter one's auditory experience of the language, moving from a place of discomfort to one of appreciation and understanding. Cultural Stereotypes and Media Representation Cultural stereotypes and the way Chinese language and culture are often portrayed in Western media significantly shape perceptions. Many times, these portrayals are oversimplified and exaggerated, not reflecting the true complexity and diversity of Chinese language and culture. Such representations can influence individuals who have limited personal experience with Chinese, setting a foundation for viewing the language through a biased lens. Media depictions frequently lean on stereotypes that highlight the language's tonal complexity and phonetic differences in a manner that emphasizes foreignness and otherness, rather than celebrating linguistic diversity. These caricatures can reinforce the idea that Chinese sounds harsh or unpleasant, skewing public perception and overshadowing the language's inherent beauty and intricacy. Moreover, these stereotypes aren't just confined to entertainment media, but can also permeate news reporting and social media, further entrenching misconceptions. Historical Linguistic Evolution The historical linguistic evolution of Chinese is both intricate and rich, reflecting thousands of years of development, migrations, and cultural shifts. This long history has resulted in a language that is not monolithic, but comprises several dialects, each with its own unique phonetic characteristics and tonal structures. These dialects, from Mandarin to Cantonese, Shanghainese to Hokkien, offer a glimpse into the vast linguistic landscape of China. However, to the uninitiated, the variety within these dialects can contribute to an overwhelming auditory experience. The evolution of Chinese has seen it diverge into mutually unintelligible varieties that, while sharing common roots, manifest very distinct sound patterns. This diversity is a testament to the adaptability and complexity of Chinese, but also poses a challenge for learners and listeners unfamiliar with its history and variations. The perception of discordance when encountering different Chinese dialects can be linked to the listener's lack of understanding of the language's historical development and the specific social and geographical contexts that shaped each dialect. The evolution of Chinese is not just a linguistic journey, but also a cultural and historical voyage that offers insights into the profound depth and diversity of China's heritage. Emotional and Social Contexts of Language Use The emotional and social nuances of Chinese communication often add layers of complexity that can influence perceptions by English speakers. In Chinese culture, the expression of emotions and social relationships frequently relies on subtle changes in tone and pitch, beyond the basic linguistic tonal differences. This can lead to a nuanced interplay between words and their delivery, where the same phrase might carry different emotional weights depending on how it is spoken. For those unfamiliar with these nuances, Chinese speech can sometimes seem overly direct or brusque, potentially feeding into perceptions of the language as unpleasant or harsh. Additionally, the social context in which Chinese is used can affect its reception. High context communication, where much is conveyed through implied meanings and nonverbal cues, is prevalent in Chinese-speaking cultures. This contrasts with the low context communication style more common in English-speaking cultures, which tends to be more explicit and direct. Misconceptions about language harshness The perception of Chinese as an unpleasant or harsh language to some English speakers is deeply influenced by a myriad of subjective factors, including cultural biases and personal auditory preferences. This notion is not exclusive to Chinese. Any language can seem jarring to individuals not acquainted with its specific sounds and rhythms. What's key to understand is that these perceptions are highly individual and can shift dramatically with increased exposure and understanding. Characterizing a language as harsh is more reflective of the listener's unfamiliarity than the inherent qualities of the language itself. Languages are rich tapestries of cultural identity and heritage, and each carries its unique beauty and complexity. Chinese, with its tonal variations and phonetic diversity, offers a vast array of expressive possibilities that are often overlooked when fixated on initial impressions of harshness. Understanding this helps to dismantle misconceptions 
and fosters a more open and appreciative approach to cross-linguistic and cross-cultural exchanges. If you enjoyed from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching.